I think she is kind of cute. I think I did it right. This Quebec City man, a former family doctor, is preparing for the day he won't be able to speak. It's a bit of a vocal time capsule, and it's happening thanks to an AI cloning technology. I think that's okay. I think that's right. I think this is pretty good. Cooper is recording snippets of conversations, words for loved ones, and ranges of intonation before his ALS worsens and his voice deteriorates. Cooper was diagnosed with ALS a year and a half ago. It's a terminal motor neuron disease that eventually causes full body paralysis. But just this year, he decided to start banking his voice. He's using an AI powered voice cloning technology by Eleven Labs. It's a US-based company that's giving away 1 million codes to people with degenerative diseases, including ALS. By inputting a small amount of audio, the technology can replicate someone's voice. He's grateful to be able to use this tech. Others with ALS, including his friend and former colleague, Dr. Jean-Pierre Canuel, wasn't able to. Now his speech is severely impacted by the disease. He's been like a big brother to me because he's he's facing it with tremendous yeah, courage as well. He gets emotional for both of us. Now he was diagnosed 11 years ago. Inside that time, the type of technology available to ALS patients has changed quite a bit. Sophie Dupont is a speech language pathologist at the local health authority, and she says that now when patient speech is impacted by the disease, they could be equipped with devices that help transfer text to speech, and now it could be in their own voice. Well, it's quite new because this voice clone especially was launched in um, 2024. Previous robotic voices, they didn't come in all shapes and sizes. Dustin right? Blank, like, who leads partnerships at Eleven options. Labs, says the company is hoping to find ways to get their voice technology into the hands of people who need it most. The difference here is that we're providing, um, in a way, um, their former, you know, their, the their former way of speaking themselves. So it is not a computerized version of themselves. Um, it is um, how they spoke in that same cadence, in that same emotion, and that's super powerful. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> well, you know, it's pretty dramatic as well. It's drama. This is how much, that's how much I've done on my account. I still, if I want to get it perfect, I need to keep talking. Cooper is considered to be a slow progressor compared to others with an ALS diagnosis, but still symptoms of the disease are creeping in and him and his wife are preparing their home and renovating to make it wheelchair accessible, but also preparing for a future where they will use the tool to communicate. He has a great sense of humor and he always says he's going to be the next Steph Stephen Hawking. <laughs> so he's going to be able, we're going to be able to recognize him as he used to speak. And